This is our Forex blog for July 30th, 2012. Most days I go over our easy three-step Forex trading system, but today is going to be a little different because I'm radically transforming some of our tools and trading methods. And, you know, I leave a couple test versions of our software running things overnight. Uh, and I brought this up uh, during the day uh, just to do the blog video. So I'm going to just go over uh, some new and interesting ways of trading. I'm not going to go over our currency meter, which I do most days. Uh, one of the new enhancements to the software, which we're hoping to release in the next few days, is uh, digital signal processing. This is a much faster way of uh, basically taking price data and, for lack of a better term, finding a moving average uh, on it. And one of everyone knows you want to trade with a trend we basically teach two different methods. Once you find and locate a trend using our currency meter, you wait for a pullback, or you wait for a little sideways rectangle type pattern, and when price breaks out of that rectangle pattern, you get into a trade. One way of finding a pullback, you never know if the market's gonna pull back five pips, 15 pips, 25 or 30 pips. And so one way of using that uh, is to, let's say, put a five period moving average here and shift it two bars to the right. That makes it very fast, and by shifting it, you know, the noise of the market doesn't, you know, have you get in, in and out, in and out with a bunch of tiny little losses. And then you select the DSP because it's much faster than a regular moving average, uses, you know, very advanced math, digital signal processing techniques. And when you add this to your chart, you can see, you know, I like to put a two uh, pixel wide line, you can see decent places to get into trades. For example, this is a trend that's going down, clearly. You wait for the pullback, and when price goes underneath that moving average, uh, digital signal processing, fast one, you go short, and you can see it went all the way down. Nice little pullback here, short. That trade didn't really work, but you really probably would have broke even or maybe made a few pips on it. You wait for a pullback up, and, you know, wait for it to come up. You might have gone short here, small loss, short here, and you can see it fell about 15 pips. You don't want to just short right near the lows, wait for some kind of a pullback, go short. You can see in this case you probably would have had a, a break-even trade. Short here, maybe small loss. You know, obviously this is during the part of the day where the market, you know, kind of dies down and becomes, you know, very uh, choppy. Another one of our tools, which we have also enhanced, is the containment bands. I'm going to remove uh, the regular containment bands from the chart. I'm going to showcase how you can use this uh, for scalping. Let's say you have a five minute bar, you click digital signal processing center line, and what this is going to do, we don't want to have a 3.0 band because that's probably not going to get hit much. And this is using our very fast digital signal processing. This is a five pips per bar euro dollar chart, uh, and because we're using digital signal processing, it's basically putting a 20 period ultra fast digital signal processing center line moving average on here and it goes back over the last 20 days and finds uh, pretty much extreme 1.5 bands and plots it away from there and you can see you know it went down underneath there popped up hit the upper band you know and pretty much fell for quite a few hours you're right near the lower band uh, around 830 and that was the low and so this is you can see on the uh, during the relatively dead 12:30 time, it came real close to the you know top band right here. These levels pretty much contain price and allow you to buy, sell, buy, sell, and make money on a relatively dead day. And that's you know going to transform people's uh, trading because most people want to sit down and get eight to 30 pips in an hour or two, and then go to work or enjoy their day, hang out with their family, whatever it is that you like to do. And, you know, on days like this, a lot of, a lot of times Mondays are kind of dead, choppy, um, but these allow you to trade even on dead, choppy days. You know, be, and if you want to be a little bit more cautious, if you're more conservative, or if, let's say you're a new trader who's lost a lot of money trading Forex, you want to make sure the trades, you know, are increasingly likely to go your way then wait for the upper band to get hit then wait for price to go underneath the five period digital signal processing line shift to two bars to the right and you can use three bars and even one bar too but one bar tends to have a lot of false signals 
So you know, basically you would have been in this trade right here at 81 and the market pulled all the way down, you know, 260, all down 21 pips. Even if you got out of it right here, you made your 10 pips. Maybe you bought right here at another 8 pips. You know, obviously during the debtor times, you don't want to wait for a price to go down underneath there because it's already fallen 6, 7 pips. Um, during the debtor times of the day, just sell the upper bands, buy the bottom bands. There's the Euro Yen. And these are our regular bands on here. I haven't uh, updated my class uh, charts to show the new digital signal processing. But let me just showcase, you know, that here. Here's a 1.5 band. When you use the digital signal processing, you'll, you should see that the red band shifts down. As you can see, it does, you know, because it much more rapidly catches up with price. And so, therefore, when it's underneath this band, it's much more likely to get a reversal. You can see the 2.0 white band, which we normally use, is going to shift down and probably be somewhere where the price reversed right here. We'll, we'll do that one next. As you can see, now you're looking to get into a counter trend trade in this Euro Yen pair. And I'm going to also change the 3.0 line. This one should almost never get hit anymore because it's going to be so far away from uh, price. Now, if you add the digital signal processing uh, based moving average, five period shifted two to the right. Change this to digital signal processing. I like how the white one stands out better. You should be able to eyeball what a decent pullback is. All right, so this is a trend that's going down. You don't really want to get short right near the lower bands here. It's not likely to continue down. Wait for a decent pullback, 15, 20, 25 pips, all the way up to the hourly moving average is fine. In this case, there's a weekly pivot here in the whole number. You can see it went slightly above there. You got a sell signal right here, which is purely based on chart patterns. I'm completely rewriting uh, these because they don't take into effect any of our live only data. And I think it's much more important to have a much more accurate signals that show up live than to have a bunch of signals on past charts, which, you know, some trades work and some don't. It's much better to show much higher probability trades uh, so that people trading live can do a lot better trading and make more money. Obviously, fewer losers, bigger wins, smaller losses, fewer losses. That's my goal, you know, with my own trading and obviously my um, customers trading. If you don't make money trading with us, you're going to quit. And our entire model revolves around giving you our software free, trying to get you to be an active trader. And, you know, obviously when you trade, we get a small sliver of the commission or the rebate. And if traders that are doing well, you know, pretty much trade a lot more. 90% of our revenue comes from 10% of our traders that are just insanely active traders, you know, trading hundreds and sometimes thousands of lots a month, you know, full lots. Whereas new traders a lot of times trade micro lots, mini lots, and, you know, it's kind of a waste of our time. But if we can build up those traders and they deposit more money in their accounts, uh, eventually, you know, it pays off for us by offering all of our education for free or our software for free. So by having more accurate signals, you could short, pulls back 15 pips. You know, here the market's kind of chopping around going sideways. If you, you know, sold the low right here, you probably had a loss. Sold it again right here. You can see it fell from 90 all the way, you know, down to 60. And for those of you who have always been afraid to do counter trend trades, when you see the market, you know, obviously one of my favorite methods personally is drawing fibs on a previous wave and looking to get in at the fib target. A lot of people are afraid to do that. They're afraid to buy, uh, especially here where it just broke down underneath the previous day's low. Here's the previous month's low. That's a sign of weakness to break down like that. But it's also gone down, pulled back up 62%. You know, here's another great trade. It hit the 50% where there's some selling. Hit the 62 where there's some selling, and it broke here. So you had a nice win here. You can also buy, you know, the counter trend by just waiting for the price to go above here. Now, maybe you got into that trade and you had a small loss. You got back in again here. You made 10 pips, came back down here and double bottomed. You get in and maybe you wait for a two wave pullback, you know, somewhere up here near the 10 day moving average and you're out somewhere around 9580. You're in this trade around 65, you made 15 pips. You wait for a pullback. You can see the weakness on the way down was significantly less than the strength on the way up. And that's pretty much how I use our statistical trend tools. This one is one that works only live. And I'm completely redoing it actually to. Uh, showcase much more weighting 
of our statistical tools that measure intensity. Right now, 40% uh, of this uh, indicator's value is based on intensity, and 60% is based on statistics on whether the euro is going up or down. Honestly, after trading with our tools for years, I think intensity is much more important, and I'm going to give that a 60% weighting uh, and basically flip them. 60% of the weighting will be the intensity of the up move, uh, and 40% the percentage of currencies trending up or down using multiple different statistical tools we have. And also, of course, using the much faster digital signal processing uh, technology we've added to the software. So. I'm going to be testing those again tonight and should, you know, basically releasing that um, probably in a day or two after I leave it running and making sure and also trading with it myself to make sure that you know it's an enhancement over what we have now. If it's not, then I'm just going to uh, release the other tools without a much you know, more improved build your own trend histogram. So let's look at one more example. Um, of the trends today. Here's a five pips per bar Australian dollar. Notice the hourly moving average above that, it's more likely to go up. Underneath it, it's more likely to go down. The daily, weekly, monthly trend on the bottom's up. The 15 and hourly trend for the most part's up. And again, this is a real time only tool. I brought it up uh, around eight o'clock after I was done uh, playing with some of the uh, test runs uh, that I had running before. I closed the program, brought it back up, and left it running for class, you know, to do our blog video. But again, I think uh, from my testing, the, the brand new digital signal processing moving average, by the way, we also put in the digital signal processing for the MACD. It's a much faster MACD flip for those of you who like to use that, especially on longer term charts. Uh, it's going to give you signals one to three bars, sometimes five bars early. So let's put a five period two. Shift it to the right. I like to make it two bars thick and click DSP, Digital Signal Processing. And basically, if you see a nice move up and you want to buy the pullback, this is a great way to do it. As soon as price goes above this, you get in. If price continues on down or continues on down enough to uh, nullify wanting to buy it, you know, in other words, if it went up and then pulled back down to where it started here, you probably would ignore buying it. This is a decent sized pullback. You wait to get in, and you can see it went up about 10, 12 pips. Again, it made a higher high here, pulled back, didn't go below this low. You get long right here with your stop underneath the low, and again, you made 15 pips uh, because you also saw on the way up it had a lot more strength than the weakness on the way down. And keep in mind, this is our old tool, not the one I've been working on over the last week and I haven't even shown in class yet. Um, it's significantly better, and like I said, it's 60% weighted based on the intensities of the move, and 40% just the directional uh, statistical tools we have, whereas this one only uses 40% uh, intensity. And I think you're going to find it's going to give you more confidence to stay in a trend. If you bought this and the market's going up and you see this kind of strength, and you know that 60% of the weight is intensity-based, that's a trend that you know you might stick with. You know, Maybe you stuck with it right here. If, you know, based on the tools that we have now, it's only 40% based on the intensities. And, you know, we all know that currencies can go up or down, and they can kind of inch their way up or down, which is no fun at all to trade, kind of like this right here, just kind of inching its way up, or they can explode their way up like this one right here. If you got in this trade right here with the new tools I'm about to release this week, it's going to show you incredible intensity. You're going to stick with it. You're going to catch, you know, maybe 20, 25, 30 pips. And... You know, if you can catch more big wins and cut your losses and make and have tinier losses and have more wins rather than uh, losses, you're going to do a lot better trading, and we're going to keep you for life. As long as you want to trade for a living or trade, you know, part time, we're going to keep you as a customer, and that's why we're never satisfied with what we have. We're always trying to improve it.